and it was really, there was a foundation of tough love with my father. And um, Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again on this channel. Today we're back with another heartfelt tribute video and honoring some of the well-known actors who sadly passed away. We'll also take a moment to remember other stars we've recently lost. These legends made incredible contribution to their craft and will be deeply missed. Our thoughts and condolences go out. To theirs, families and friends rest in peace. Before we start, please support our channel by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Thank you. Angel Salazar was a Cuban-American comedian and actor. He is known for saying check it out before, during and after jokes. Sadly passed away on August 11, 2024 at the age of 68. As an actor, he was best known for his role as Chi Chi in the 1983 film Scarface. His portrayal of Tony Montana's loyal henchman helped solidify his place in cinematic history. Salazar's career spans several decades, during which he has appeared in other notable films like Carlito's Way and Where the Buffalo Roam. Besides acting, Salazar is an accomplished stand-up comedian, often incorporating his Latin roots and energetic style into his performances. His catchphrase, check it out, became popular during his stand-up routines, contributing to his unique comedic identity. Salazar continues to perform in comedy clubs across the country, bringing laughter and entertainment to his audiences. Despite the challenges of maintaining a long career in entertainment, he remains a dedicated performer, balancing his work in both comedy and acting. Ellen Corbett was an American politician who served as a member of the California State Senate from 2006 to 2014, representing the 10th District, passed away at the age of 69. A member of the Democratic Party, she played a significant role in California's legislative process, particularly in advocating for consumer protection, environmental issues, and education. Before her tenure in the State Senate, Corbett served in the California State Assembly from 1998 to 2004 and was the first woman to be elected as mayor of San Leandro, a position she held from 1994 to 1998. Her political career is marked by a commitment to public service and a focus on improving the quality of life for her constituents. After leaving the state Senate, Corbett continued to engage in community service and advocacy, remaining active in California's political and social landscape. Her career reflects dedication to progressive causes and effective governance. Rachel Lillis, was an American voice actress best known for her work in anime and video games. Passed away from the disease in Los Angeles on August 10, 2024, at the age of 55. She gained widespread recognition for voicing Misty and Jessie in the English-language adaptation of the popular anime Pokemon, roles she portrayed for several years. Lillis's work in Pokemon made her a beloved figure among fans of the series and established her as a prominent voice in the anime community. Beyond Pokemon, she has voiced characters in other notable anime series such as Yu-Gi-Oh! and One Piece. Lilis is also skilled in dubbing, lending her voice to various animated projects and video games. Her versatile voice acting has allowed her to take on a wide range of characters, from energetic heroines to mischievous villains. In addition to voice acting, Lillis has experience in theater and film, showcasing her broad talents as a performer in different mediums. Patrice Lafon was a French television presenter, actor, and producer, renowned for his work in French television. Sadly passed away at his home in Oped on 7 August 2024, aged 84. He gained fame in the 1980s and 1990s as the host of several popular game shows, most notably Des Chiffres et des Lettres, a long-running educational game show that tests contestants on their linguistic and mathematical skills. Lafont's charisma and engaging style made him a household name in France. Another of his notable hosting roles was on Fort Boyard, a unique adventure game show that became a major hit 
both in France and internationally. In addition to his work as a presenter, Lafont has pursued acting, appearing in various films and theater productions. His career spans over five decades, during which he has also worked as a producer and contributed to the development of French television. Lafont remains a respected figure in the entertainment industry, celebrated for his versatility and enduring presence on French television. Erica Ash was an American actress, comedian, and singer known for her dynamic range and versatile performances in television, film, and theater. Sadly passed away from breast cancer in Los Angeles on July 28, 2024, at the age of 46. Ash began her career in the entertainment industry as a performer on Broadway, starring in productions like The Lion King and Spamalot. She gained widespread recognition as a cast member on the sketch comedy show Mad TV from 2008 to 2009, where her comedic talent shone through in various memorable characters. Ash further cemented her status in television with her role as M. Chuck in the Starz series Survivor's Remorse, where she delivered a critically acclaimed performance. She also starred in the BET series In Contempt, 2018, showcasing her dramatic skills as a public defender. Erica Ash's career is marked by her ability to seamlessly transition between comedy and drama, making her a standout talent in the entertainment industry. Mitzi McCall was an American actress and comedian known for her sharp wit and versatile performances across television, film, and stage. Passed away on August 8, 2024, at the age of 93, she first gained attention in the 1960s as part of a comedy duo with her husband, Charlie Brill, with whom she performed on The Ed Sullivan Show on the same night as the Beatles' famous debut. McCall's early career was marked by numerous guest appearances on popular TV shows, including The Twilight Zone, The Dick Van Dyke Show, and My Three Sons. She became a recognizable voice in animation, contributing to series like The Flintstones and Snorks. In the 1970s and 1980s, McCall appeared on shows like All in the Family and Love American Style. Her comedic timing and character work have made her a respected figure in the entertainment industry, and she continues to perform, maintaining a lasting impact on American comedy and television. Esther Ter Blanche was a South African actress best known for her role as Gillian Andrassy on the popular American soap opera, All My Children. Born in Rustenburg, South Africa, she began her career in the entertainment industry by winning the Miss Teen South Africa pageant, which led to opportunities in modeling and acting. Ter Blanche's breakthrough came when she joined All My Children in 1997, where she quickly became a fan favorite for her portrayal of the complex and glamorous Jillian. Her performance earned her acclaim and a strong fan base during her time on the show until her departure in 2001. In addition to her work on All My Children, Ter Blanche has appeared in various South African television shows and films, further establishing herself as a versatile actress. After leaving All My Children, she continued to work in both American and South African productions, maintaining a presence in the entertainment industry. Passed away in Los Angeles on 19th of July, 2024, at the age of 51. Bob Newhart was a legendary American comedian and actor renowned for his distinctive deadpan delivery and stammering style. Passed away from complications of several short illnesses at the age of 94. He gained widespread fame in the early 1960s with his comedy album, The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart, which became the first comedy album to reach number one on the Billboard charts and won a Grammy Award for Album of the Year. Newhart's success in stand-up comedy led to a prolific television career. He starred in the hit sitcom The Bob Newhart Show, 1972-1978, where he played a psychologist and later Newhart, 1982 and 1990, where he portrayed an innkeeper in Vermont. 
both shows were critically acclaimed and cemented his status as a television icon. In addition to television, Newhart appeared in numerous films, including Catch-22, 1970, and Elf, 2003. His career spans over six decades, earning him numerous accolades, including an Emmy Award and a Peabody Award, for his timeless contributions to comedy and entertainment. Robin Bernard was an American actress best known for her role as Terry Brock on the popular soap opera General Hospital. She joined the cast in 1984 and quickly became a fan favorite for her portrayal of the strong-willed and compassionate nurse. Bernard's performance on the show earned her recognition and solidified her place in daytime television. Before her success on General Hospital, Bernard appeared in various television series and films, showcasing her versatility as an actress. She also starred in the 1981 TV series Fame, where she played the role of Nancy. Throughout the 1980s, Bernard made guest appearances on several well-known TV shows, further establishing her career in the industry. Although her time on General Hospital remains her most iconic role, Bernard's work across television has left a lasting impact on audiences. She continues to be remembered for her contributions to the soap opera genre. Passed away on March 12, 2024, at the age of 64. John Landau was an acclaimed American film producer known for his work on some of the most successful films in cinematic history. Passed away in Los Angeles on July 5, 2024, at the age of 63. He is best known for producing James Cameron's Titanic, 1997, and Avatar, 2009, both of which became the highest grossing films of their time. Titanic won 11 Academy Awards, including Best Picture, and Avatar revolutionized 3D filmmaking, earning nine Oscar nominations and three wins. Landau's collaboration with Cameron has been pivotal in bringing groundbreaking technological advancements to the film industry. Before these successes, Landau worked as an executive at 20th Century Fox and as a producer on various projects, including Dick Tracy, 1990. His keen eye for innovation and storytelling has made him a key figure in Hollywood. Landau continues to work on major film projects, including the Avatar sequels, ensuring his ongoing influence on the future of filmmaking. Dwayne Johnson, also known as The Rock, has been the subject of recent death rumors which have been debunked as false. Johnson, a former professional wrestler turned actor, is alive and continues to thrive in his career. He initially gained fame in the WWE, where he became one of the most popular and successful wrestlers of all time. Transitioning to acting, Johnson has starred in numerous blockbuster films, including the Fast and Furious franchise, Jumanji, and Moana. Known for his charismatic personality and action-packed roles, he has become one of Hollywood's highest paid and most recognizable actors. Despite the recent hoaxes about his death, Johnson remains active on social media, reassuring fans of his well-being. His influence extends beyond entertainment, as he is also known for his philanthropic efforts and inspiring public persona. Johnson continues to be a major force in both the entertainment industry and popular culture. 